Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Yep, back for another shotgun safety video and this one, holy smokes, you guys really came through on the video suggestions, y'all. All of you that have been here know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys suggest these videos. They're kind of like a Mythbuster videos for all of us duck hunters out there, all of us shotgun shooters. Basically myths, things that we've always thought about happening that could be unsafe, that could hurt us, that could just basically be unsafe. This one, the barrel in the water video. By far the most, and I mean the most suggested video we have. So, I wanted to get all those other videos out of the way. I wanted to get the wet shotgun video out of the way. I wanted to get the three and a half inch shell in a three inch chambered video out of the way. Just in case it ruined it. Because I know that this video has to be, and I mean I've said it a lot before, I know. But it has to be this girl's last day. The mud on the tip of the barrel, yep, it did that, it took off the end of that barrel. And then all of the other videos that I'm like, there's no way that this gun's gonna last. The TriStar freaking pulled through like a champ. And a lot of you guys are thinking the same thing I am. You're like, how in the world is that thing still alive? I don't know. I mean, you got me. I have no idea how that bad boy is still kicking. I was talking to Federal Ammo on the phone and they said, every time that's happened, the barrels bulge in the same identical place. So, we're gonna see, is the barrel just gonna bulge? So, is that gonna happen? Is it just gonna blow a hole in the barrel? Or, is the TriStar gonna hold up yet again? I don't think so. But, real quick, before we get going, I have to show you the Ducks t-shirt of the month. Look at that bad boy right there. Got some cup ducks just uh, doing it. The Ducks t-shirt of the month is always going to be a different design every single month. And when you subscribe to Ducks t-shirt of the month, you receive that one-off design in your mailbox at the same day every month. Ducks even discounts these shirts at a lower price for all the Ducks t-shirt of the month subscribers. So if you guys want to sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, I will link it down in the description below. Enough talking. Let's get on the road. Uh, I've waited for this day. I think we've all waited for this day. We've all waited for the day that the TriStar goes This could be the day, y'all. I mean, honestly, if there was to be a day, it is today. I got us a little bitty private pond we're going to that has a little bridge over it. Let's go. Well, we are here at the farm. I know a lot of you probably watched the last video, the starling shooting video at the dairy farm. Well, we're here again for this video for the simple reason is I did not know where I was going to do this video at. I need water, and I need a place to shoot, and I need a place out of the wind. I knew it was going to be windy, and today it's like 20, 25 mile an hour gusts. So here we are. We are at the dairy, like I say. Oh, there's all of our buddies, all of our milking buddies. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. How are we doing today? They all pretty much just love me, you know? If you did watch the uh, Starling video, we protect uh, the cattle's feed. All the milking cows, all them big girls over there, we try to keep their feed safe. And we try to keep all the Starlings out of their feed because they take all the nutrients out of it. They peck it out and eat it. Here we are, we're at the little pond here. And like I said, it's windy. I'm got, I got a perfect little spot to get us out of the wind. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up. And then I'll pick up the camera and show you my little contraption here. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Woo! Just sweating my butt off out here. This rig took me a lot longer than normal to set up. I had to make it safe still, guys. Got to be safe on these shotgun safety videos because that's what they're all about, right? Well, here we are. There's a little concrete bridge and this is what I've done. Oh yeah, I got the shotgun in the vise and I've got a good... Oh man, there's... There's a good five inches in the water. So a, a good five inches of that barrel tip in the water. Now again, guys, what this is mimicking is a duck hunter. When we're standing in the marsh, you have your tip of your barrel in the, in the water accidentally. And when you accidentally fire a shell, that means when the trigger accidentally gets pulled, right? Yeah, accidents happen. But these videos are a reminder to keep us all safe and for all of us to continue to think ahead. Because seeing something done sticks with us much better than being told about something. 
you know, not to do something. So again, and like always, do not try these videos at home. None of you want to ruin a shotgun either, right? So I mean, why would you try them at home? But I'm taking safety precautions. I got the string hooked up to the trigger. I'm gonna be standing way back there. Yeah, see? See how tricky it is to set up this little rig? Not easy. It doesn't look like it, but this little canal here is probably four foot deep. So I hope my rig don't go falling in the water. So I put a cinder block around the end of the vise there and kind of one in front of it, and I tighten that puppy down really tight. But like always, I'm using my favorite shot shell that I use during the whole season. It's the Federal Blue Box. These are the Federal Speed Shocks. This is a three inch number two, one and an eighth ounce. Just my go-to shell. Let's load her up here. I love you, old girl. I love you. I love you, TriStar. She's been good to us, but I can tell that she's actually been good to me. Before we destroy her here, I better go through a little bit of her history. She's actually the gun that I started the YouTube channel with. A lot of you know that I do a lot of duck hunting, a lot of goose hunting, waterfowl hunting in general. And this girl was the first gun to be on video that I was shooting, and it did great. It's a very cheap gun, that's why I'm doing this, and it was completely worn out from, from the get-go. I mean. The, the gun's been worn out, and I haven't used a gun for over three years, ever since I got my Franke, pretty much. So, it's paid its dues. It's did its time. It's time to retire the old girl. I don't believe that it is going to last through this video. <laughs> but, like always, you guys got to drop your guesses down below right now. Drop your guesses what you think is going to happen. Because this is the craziest video we've probably ever done. And like I said, it is the most requested video that we've ever done by far. So if you guys have any video suggestions just like these, things that you have always wanted to see happen, because you wondered what would happen if it happened, drop your comment down below and let me know. I love getting all these new video ideas from you guys. And like always, this isn't the last one of these. We're gonna go buy us another cheap gun because I have way more ideas. So, so if you guys wanna see these videos, keep coming. You gotta hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this bad boy over 2,000 likes in a hurry. Let's take her off safety. This is the moment that I, not only I, but a lot of you have been waiting for for a long time. I've had to save this video so we could keep using the TriStar on a lot of other videos. So. Like I said, drop uh, your guesses down below. So with no further ado, here we go. And three, two, one. Oh boy, yes, it didn't fall in the water. Thank goodness, my rig worked. What happened? What do you think happened? Oh. Oh boy, yes, it didn't fall in the water. Bad deal. Bad deal. I can see it. Look at it right where it's at the water. It blew it to smithereens. Ah! <laughs> oh no. I knew it would happen. I know. I knew it would happen. But it's sad to watch the old girl go. Let's kill that. That'll probably be some decent footage. Well, let me put the camera down. I'm going to get it out of the vise, and we're going to, going to take a look at it here. But if you guys like these videos, hit that thumbs up button right now for your boy. Let's keep them going. Woo, just got her all torn down here. Check that out. That is the wad. Oh, and it's, ooh, that's the wad. And that got, the wad definitely got stuck in there, but look at that. Right where the watermark was, I mean, it just completely annihilated the end of that thing. That's where the watermark was, and it just, boom! The whole thing, if you can tell, the whole thing is bent right where that water line was, and then it just blew it to smithereens. Oh my goodness! But guys, like I said, I opened the video saying that this was probably going to be the end, for old girl here, old TriStar girl. This gun obviously is never gonna be shot again. Now in the mud video, it just took a little bit off of the barrel, just where the choke screwed in. However far that choke went in, that's all it took off, and I was obviously able to fix it like y'all know. But that one there, nah, I think I'm, I think we're gonna put the old TriStar on the wall in the shop 
So we can all just remember how fabulous today was and how awesome this video was because again guys I don't like doing this to guns now I would not have done this to a good working gun but like I said I got my time out of this gun I got my money's worth out of this gun I only had like 200 250 bucks in this gun it was completely worn out it honestly probably would have cost me more to rebuild it than just to buy another new TriStar but before we move on any more guys I do have to remind you guys please don't do any of these videos at home this is for safety purposes only there's a lot of us guys there's a lot of us that are in the marsh and we hunt water we're standing in water a lot of duck timber hunts down in Arkansas Louisiana you guys we are all in the water a lot of times and this is just to remind us keep them barrels out of the water always have your gun on safety always have your gun on safety Woo! just walking down here to pick up the remainder of my items that shell right here come here buddy come here come here oh. there we go i just took my muck boots off put the old crocs on yeah it's warm out today it's supposed to hit like 82 degrees feels great it's definitely four-wheel drive croc weather but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, y'all. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be all she wrote for the old TriStar. Sad to see her go, but I wouldn't want to see her go any other way, you know? A good old safety video, just like this one. This might be one of the most important videos that I've ever done on the channel. It could save, it could save one of your guys' legs, or your buddy's knee, or, or maybe just your gun. Maybe just save you from destroying your gun. But more importantly, save somebody from getting hurt. I've been wanting to preach gun safety, hunting safety here on the channel a lot more. Like I've told you guys, and these videos allow me to do that. We get straight to the point. So like I said before, if you guys have any video suggestions, any at all, drop them down below in the comment section. Don't be scared. We all get along down there. But no, really all, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting this series of videos. They're not going anywhere. They're just gonna get saucier and spicier. And you guys, I got some starling hunts coming. Some bird trapping videos that you guys said you wanted to see. Me and Jordan, we're building traps today. So we've already started filming that video. So be expecting that one and a lot more hunts and trapping videos on the farm yet to come. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget the Ducks t-shirt of the month. I will link it down in the description below. Go sign up. You get a, you get a brand new crispy fresh Ducks t-shirt in the mail every single month. But we will see you on the next one. Peace.